The default settings in Excel can be changed. For example, up at the top, the ribbon is in blue. You can change that to silver or black. But keep in mind that when you change it, it affects all the other Office programs like Word. It'll also change to black. You can change the default font settings so every time you open up the workbook it's going to be Arial or Comic Sans or some type of font and also how many worksheets are available instead of the typical three. To make those changes click on the Office logo button, come down to Excel options and then we're looking up here in the popular category to the selection down below. The color scheme you can change it to silver or black, see if that works for you. And as we already covered this, I want to go a little bit further. When creating new workbooks, instead of the default body font, which is Calibri, you can click on the drop down arrow and let's say everything else has got to be times. Just start typing the word times, it starts bringing it up. I can come down and click on it, select it, Times New Roman. Font size will always be size 12. The default can be normal view, page break view, or page layout view will go with normal. And then I want to be able to have five worksheets available. When I'm finished, click OK. And then it tells me for some of the changes to take effect, I have to close my workbook and open it back up. Click OK, and you can see up at the top, it's already changed from blue to silver. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of my workbook here. Double click and open Excel back up again. You can see my default is Times New Roman size 12. And then down below, every worksheet opens up with five sheets here. Finally, I can make changes to that by going back to Excel Options and then changing it back to blue and so forth. An additional thing is I want to show you is about the save category. The default file location wants to save everything in your documents folder and if you want to change that and say well I want to save it to my desktop just come in here delete in this case everything but the D because I want to save it to my desktop. Make sure I got it spelled correctly here desktop. Go ahead and click OK. Well it changed it except for the Times New Roman. But when I click on the save button it should take me right to my desktop and it does right there desktop instead of the general documents folder thanks for watching hey as a quick reminder if you like my video please give it a thumbs up you can also click on me and subscribe to my channel get notified of the latest videos and for only two dollars a month you can have access to all my microsoft office training videos